episode 18 of Liquor and Lyrics, the podcast that is to the music industry what four of the five Spice Girls were to the Spice Girls. Just there. Just there. Constantly at odds with everything that's going on. Yes, every week we convene to look back at a song that's considered popular despite having some lyrics that are questionable or weird or just plain shit. But that's not all. Like anything that's fun, anything, it also involves alcohol. Hooray for alcohol! Mm. With me, Nick, hello, and of course, part of a double act, just like Garfunkel or Oates or Phil Spector's lawyer, it's Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello. Hello. I was worried there for a minute we weren't going to get someone in the music industry who'd died or had murdered someone, and but you, you, snuck, you snuck it in. Uh, unless, one, unless I'm wrong, one of the Spice Girls has indeed gone in the night. Or and killed then, someone. Yeah, detective. <laughs> <laughs> We're hearing that Mel B is currently on the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went straight to Mel B for the murder there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you racist bastard. <laughs> if one of them was going to have killed someone, that's would be Mel B, didn't it? <laughs> although, although Jerry's... Uh, Ginger Spice's husband is under investigation for some sexual stuff, isn't he? So. Yeah, he is, yeah. Was it sexual? I thought it was, it was more like... Um, it's more like power play shit, which ultimately probably was sexual in the end. So yeah, you probably yeah. 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 Join the dots, yeah. mate. Join the dots. But we're doing a song all the way from the future and the past simultaneously. It's Book Rogers by Fida, a song that haunts my youth, fortunately. But before, but should we have a listen to it? Yeah, let's do it. I think we can. never liked this song nick gotta be honest i hated it when i was like i don't know 15 16 when it came out maybe i was older 17 I can't, oh, what year was it oh god it's from 2001 it. fucking hell wow. well i've always hated it since i was 11 i even hated it i hated it when i was a kid and i still hate it now i think it's a god awful song it's it's just let's it's make shy. a rock song with some psh, terrible lyrics that really they mean something but ultimately they don't mean anything as we'll get to see and it's just terrible well, rock music well, and feeder are awful well, I was listening to this song today and remembering how bad it was. I was thinking to myself, I was having a little thought experiment. I was thinking, oh, do I like Feeder? And then I thought, oh, there's like four Feeder songs that I liked. And then I looked yes, up sir? those songs. No, I looked them up. It turns <laughs> out one of them was by Athlete and three of them were by Embrace. So no, it turns <laughs> out I don't like Feeder. <laughs> what are the Feeder songs? You've got Book Rogers and then there's that other one, isn't there? That people like. Just, I like I like just today. That's all right. I always thought and, that was by some emo band when we used to go out clubbing when we were younger. I just assumed no, it, it sounds not. like some. I like they, it when you drunk. Also it did... You like everything when you're drunk in a student club, don't yeah, you? So. Yeah. That's yeah. true. They also Bleeding did uh, just woman. the way I'm feeling. <laughs> which, they also did just the way I'm feeling, which gives me flashbacks to the Ricky Gervais XFM show. We use use a lot on this show, but r- rock. Rock songs that your mum likes. Son of one of them. Like late yes. Free Fighters, late Kings of Leon. Which admittedly they, they've right got size. they've got more credibility than Feeder, but you know. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's let's we have a you know, going in down here. Although the whole nature of the show is to interpret bad lyrics, so you could say oh, it always starts negatively, but but let's <laughs> but sometimes I like the song. But shall we <laughs> shall we talk about the, the, the drinks that we've brought to the table for this? This week's show, Nick. Alcohol. Alcohol. What are you drinking tonight, mate? Well, Dan, I'm glad you asked because I... So I went out about an hour before we went on air to go and get something to drink. Went into shop not knowing what I was going to drink. Didn't know. I thought, I'll, 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 know, I'll know. Much like Coolio, I'll uh, see when I get there. You know? I thought, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll mm. see what's happening. Got there, went had to go through uh, a rainstorm on my well, through the rain. I think is a phrase people would use. I had to traverse through the rain <laughs> to get to the shop. I thought, oh, I want something nice and warming. So I have gone for a boozy hot chocolate. I'm on a amaretto hot chocolate. Ooh, yeah, very nice, just very Christmassy, a, out of season. Nice, nice mug, mug of milk. Microwaved it. 
and then banged in uh, three teaspoons of hot chocolate powder and then a load of amaretto. Cadbury's hot chocolate powder. Other hot cho- other better hot chocolate powders are available. Mm. I'm reliably informed. But yeah, and now I can now I get to sit like this. Now I get to sit and do the least manly drinking of a drink ever. Very nice. Well, is it is it nice? Yeah, is it lovely? Keeping your cockles warmed. Keep, keeping anything warmed <laughs> that I fancy keeping warmed. You know, as you know, I like to try and um, match the song or the, the artist or whatever to a drink. Only failed twice. Well, the pina colada one was an oversight. We made a mistake there. And I guess second time. I mean, although, you know, even though Singapore Sling for Sling One Upper was tenuous, got some messages from listeners that they quite enjoyed it. So, you know, is it a fail or is it not? I've this week I went to it's tenuous, but I think I made it. So I, I was looking, you know, feeder, feeder drinks. That led me down a dark path on the internet that I won't go into. Uh, don't cycle uh, feeders. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Feeder drinks. Imagine that. <laughs> feeder cocktails. Imagine that. So then I, I thought, right, different route, book Rogers drinks. I see what I've got. It's got to be them, book Rogers, TV show, you know, all that. Absolutely nada out there. So but then I found a drink called the Roy Rogers mocktail. Which, Ooh. which is, so it, it's Coca Cola with cherries, but I just got cherry Coke, you know, cut out the laboriousness, just have cherry yeah, Coke no with grenadine, and and that that's the drink. It's a mocktail, but I thought right, but if I put booze in it, and the booze I use is Canadian whiskey that I have a bottle of, right, then that could make the Roy Rogers because it's Canadian, the Buck Rogers. So I invented a cocktail. Tenuously turned oh, a mocktail into a cocktail with a reference to the song, but Rogers. So grenadine, cherry cola, and cherry cola, cherry cola, grenadine, and Canadian whiskey. And it is delightful. I wish you'd known about this when I left your house at about three o'clock on Saturday morning. That would have been really nice to have known about that. That would have been a lovely night to have that. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't have any cherry coke in on, on phone app, unfortunately. So oh, that would have been different. That, that would be the issue. I was going to put a bit of lime in it, but I was going to buy a lime. But then I saw in the cupboard there was some lime juice, like lime, a um, little bottle of lime lime juice. And I thought, well, I won't waste the 50p on a lime then. I'll just use that. And then, and then I was about to put it in my drink and my girlfriend went, whoa, what are you doing? I was like, putting the lime in. And she said, it. She said, no, that, that's not the same. That's for cooking. You won't like it in the drink. You won't be able to drink it. So I was like, okay. So I left it out. But I love it. You can't have lime if you want. Around after you, just uh, <laughs> pointing, out your, pointing out your imminent mistakes. <laughs> no, don't drink that, Dan. That's bleach. No, it's not baby oil. It's floor cleaner. We've never done, we don't, never done this before on the show. Might be worth it because it's the booze-based show in segment. I went to a special booze-based bar on, on Friday night. Like when you were at mine Saturday, a few hours before we boozed with you, you mined my dog as episode, episode, Roy Orbison episode listeners will know. Um, you yeah, gave us my dog for a few hours. For that bit, won't they? <laughs> they <stayed> listening to <laughs> <that> chat. <laughs> it's right at the start, so they had to. Probably when they turned <laughs> off. And then the, the, I went to a place called The Wash House, which is like a hidden sort of, it's not that's a very secret anymore, but you know, hidden bars. Uh, probably the best bar I've ever been to, Nick, with the best alcohol I've ever had. It's it's a cocktail bar. The whole idea is that it's kind of Michelin-style cocktails. Um, I had many. Uh, uh, they're all based around conspiracy theories, so the menu has conspiracy theories. You order a cocktail. They they wheel it out. I remember staff wheels it out, does the whole show for you, and gives you the whole conspiracy theory spiel. I tried one such as the Cocoa Pops, which was vodka-infused, Cocoa Pop vodka-infused that you pour into a bowl of Cocoa Pops that has this kind of milky cream in it already. That, well, that yes. was an odd experience. Because I, when I saw my mother on Saturday morning, and I talked, she knew that I'd been I'd been minding your dog in your flat, and she said, oh, where did uh, Dan and Vicky go? And I, said, I told her, and she said, oh, right, because I just noticed he was eating a bowl of Cocoa Pops, that's all. Like, yeah, that's, that's what passes for a night out nowadays, mother. It's changed. It's changed from indie clubs. No. <laughs> just, just go out to eat Cocoa Pops. I had uh, another good one was the Fidel Castro. The conspiracy theory it's based upon is that Fidel Castro had a secret love child that is the Trudeau. Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau. And the cocktail was based around... It, it, I can only explain it as it came out very boozy cocktail that had tobacco liqueur in it which was very nice and it had a little chocolate cigar with it which you eat while you're having the drink and that really worked as well and it came in like a smoky container so you lift up up and it was all smoky 
And I think another highlight was my oh, I had one anyway that had like bubbles on top of it. And if when you when you had the bubbles with the drink, the bubbles were flavored and really nice. Yeah, but the best bar I've ever been to, and it was seventies disco themed as well. And it had a DJ in the toilet. So what more can you ask for? So yeah, if anyone is in Manchester or wants to come to Manchester, I would recommend the Wash House as a as a. I thought you were going to say you'll take him. <laughs> well, I'll come if you. If anyone's in Manchester, I'll take you. <laughs> well, I'll come you if you want. Slide this time, can't you? It was it was it was a bit of a an expensive experience, obviously, with it being a, a sort of bougie cocktail. But, but I did think about it, and it was fifteen pound a cocktail all round every cocktail. But when you go to a normal bar, cocktails are about a tenner anyway, and you don't get anything near as good as what we got there. So for the extra fiver. Yeah worth it really it was just like going for an expensive meal i suppose but we got you know pissed up and we could only hack it for an hour and a half because the drinks were that boozy that i think we had about four or five each and we were you know ready to come and, and carry on boozing with, with yourself but yeah just thought i'd mention that since there were a, were an alcohol show you know we've, we've told them about all the alcohol and how they, they know we're a pro alcohol show unless you're an alcoholic you know what's going on in the, in the world well no if they're alcoholic you shouldn't be listening don't want them dan don't want them yeah fuck them can't control it, can they? No, uh, shall we? No. Do you want some weak? Do you want some uh, information about this track? I do. Book Rogers is a song by Welsh rock band Feeder. Ooh, the Welsh, the Welsh got it last week from us, Welsh. didn't they? Well, I know they got it last week from us as well. The Welsh on the Missy Elliot episode, didn't they? So <laughs> too many unnecessary. <laughs> Missy Welsh Elliot from the Valleys. Chap chap. It was the first single to be taken from their third studio album, Echo Park, and it was released on the Echo label. It's weird that Echo Park released on the Echo label. Something's gone on there, isn't it? Shit, isn't it? Yeah, the track reached number five on the UK singles chart after its release on the 8th of January 2001. The group had originally not intended the track to be one of theirs as frontman and main songwriter of the band, Grant Nicholas, originally wrote Book Rogers for SR71, only for producer Gil Norton and A&R staff of Echo to convince the band they could have a hit with it themselves after hearing a demo recorded by Feeder. They did have a hit, got the, to the dizzy, dizzying heights of number five in the charts. Uh, at Why a time when the charts were actually relevant. Write songs for other people, though. When who wrote SR seventy one? Wrote any? <laughs> not wrote any for himself. Well, you just said he wrote that. <laughs> that, that was after this. I sure know, maybe they're one of those bands where they're also writing music for other people because they're not a real band. You know what I mean? <laughs> the yeah. single has like like not <laughs> like like on a more commercial level. I mean, the single has been certified gold in the UK for sales and streaming figures exceeding four hundred thousand. The song title was inspired by the television show of the same name, as Nicholas wanted to create a futuristic sound. Do you think he achieved creating a futuristic sound with yeah. the song? I mean, far <laughs> be it for me to slag off the feeder lads, but no. <laughs> I, mean, I just don't know what. If anything, do, 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 the effects on the guitar are more futuristic than than. I mean, if you're going to go for futuristic yeah. sound, at least get some synth in there. Yeah, what's the futuristic sound? It's guitar-based drums. About it. It's probably the opposite <laughs> of futuristic. <laughs> and like, yeah, weird. That isn't futuristic. But but Rogers is what it's based on, obviously. Book Rogers of the 21st century. You ever seen that? I always remember when I was a kid, the Duck Rogers starring Daffy Duck. That was what I saw. It was like a sort of... A, that was what I knew it from. A, 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 a Daffy I Duck knew that first. piece of Book Rogers. I don't know. <laughs> so the first line in this one, he's got a brand new car, looks like a Jaguar. Worst bit of rhyme ever. Terrible I've noticed, rhyme. I've been watching... I was watching some videos of him playing this in the last few years, and he doesn't pronounce it Jaguar anymore. He just pronounces it Jaguar. He's got a brand new car, looks like a Jaguar. And it's like, Jaguar. Well, 20 years too late, but at least you've <laughs> rectified it. Yeah, but I mean, uh, why are they still, perfor still performing music and touring today, Feeder? He's <laughs> very much out. It looks like a Jaguar. Like, only looks like one of the most distinctive cars. It does. If you see a Jaguar, you know it's a Jaguar. The big Jaguar yeah, the but, front is normally a bit of a way. But is he doing it catally? Is it like, is it because he's annoyed? Is that, it looks like a Jaguar? And he, he goes, is it? Oh, looks like a Jaguar. What's he's got knob? no place to be catty. What's he, a he knob? He should not be catty. 
a man who cannot write songs should not be <laughs> being cast. Not write songs for other people country. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I bet the band, reckon the band that he wrote it for, when he would have sent it to him, they would have gone. Get the call, SR, SR71, whoever the fuck they are, sat there, phone rings, and they go, oh, it's uh, going from Feeder again. Don't know his name, neither do I. Neither do they. The answer it. Uh, I said it a minute ago, I can't remember it already. And then Grant phone Nicholas. rings. <laughs> Nicholas. Oh, fucking Grant again. Uh, he rings, hello. Hi, hi lads. I've, I finished that song I said it right for you. Right. He's like, yeah, because you're, you're an unsigned band, aren't you? You need, you need a bit of help. So I thought I'd write you a song. They're like, yep, yep, yep. Send it, send it over. Send it over. Okay. In fact, don't even bother sending the song. Don't be recording it and sending us a demo. Just send us the lyrics first, then we'll let you know if to bother to record it because, you know, we're quite we're quite precious about lyrics. We want lyrics to be good. And he's like, don't worry about it. The lyrics on this. <laughs> like, you don't need to I'm worry. Nicholas Timeless. They're going to be great. <laughs> yeah. I'm the guy Timeless. who wrote. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They're all sat there and they're going, right, let's have a look, open the email and they go, can't, but they might be good. You never know. They might surprise us. They might be good. He's got a brand new car. Looks like a Jaguar. Change your number. <laughs> Bring him back. Grant, he's like, yeah, like, did, you, did you read the lyrics? Like, and he's like, yeah, is it a satire? Huh? These are satire on like bad songwriting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it was supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be funny. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you picked up on that. Not a lot of people would have picked up on that excellent that you that you picked up on that really yeah because we did wonder like just sort of saying it's got a cd player and stringing that bit out in a rock sync might be a bit shit and he's like nah yeah no 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 he's like all oh, joke all oh, satire mate all oh, good like you know you go, all right well uh the thing is we don't really think people will pick up on that so we probably won't do the song he's like too smart you're right they're too clever they were too good, weren't they? He's like, well, I won't, I won't go that far, but no, they were. The world's I know not what you're ready. Saying, it, the world's not ready. I'm, 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 I'm too ahead of my time. Like Buck Rogers, and they're like, oh, <laughs> like yeah, um, I, I won't, I won't say that, but yeah, all right, well, I'll, I'll get work another one for you then. Yeah, all right, see that. Bye. <laughs> Couldn't block the numbers back then, could you? I don't think so. Right, I think you could. I think you could on the. Could you? Yeah. Think, okay, yeah. good. Well, that's good. Not that I know. I know Very futuristic. Like very, very much so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's, got, he's got a brand new car. He's got a brand new car. Looks like a Jaguar. Very jealous. Bit bitter. We found out why, I think, in a minute. But it's got leather seats. Strange so comment. Most cars. Yeah. yeah. It's not a good brag either for the person that's got the car, and it's not a good thing for you to like from his point of view, that's a thing to be impressed about. Because this song, Book Rogers implied, and this is like a few guy that's got it all futuristic cool guy that's got it all so having leather seats in your car i mean i think my i think my family car had leather seats when i was a kid because i remember hating driving long trips because you get stuck to the lever and it oh, yeah, smell yeah. in a hot day the stuff you're doing in the back of the car sick. Yeah, oh yeah me, me and my stepdad this is, yeah fucking this is, created mate created when i was 10 in the car this is, my, this is the second song dad. this is the second song we've done in this series that has discussed that has described a car to great detail and the, the difference, both futuristic cars as well, apparently. The other one had a flux capacitor attached to it and could travel yeah. to the year 3000. This one has got leather seats and a CD player. This is our Which, second most futuristic song. In 2001, MP3 players were a thing at this point, and CD player is still what they're advertising. Not even yeah. got a little bl Bluetooth <laughs> dongle or, you know, a thing to a, oh, a auxiliary gonna, cord. Get to that, yeah. Is CD player an impressive. Yeah, this is the next line is it's got a CD player, 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 player. But that's not in that's not impressive, is it? In, in that day of two thousand and one, is it? No. I think I had an iPod yeah. around then. I think I started to get an iPod two thousand one, two thousand two, somewhere like that. I mean, well, two thousand with it having a car. I mean, I had a mind you, my first car didn't have a CD player. It was from nineteen ninety seven. I was just going to say, didn't it? Yeah, it had a tape yeah. deck that you could plug your iPod into though, because you bought so maybe it was gadget. Yeah, maybe it was impressive then. Yeah, that little that little tape that you could plug into your iPod so you could play through it. What a world. That seemed like the pinnacle of technology at that point. Like, wow, what? So the iPod plays through a tape that you put in. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, it still blows my mind today. I just it don't does, want does a little diametrically bit. opposed level Although, of technology. Although, did I not? I could have paid. I think, did I not pay someone to take it out and put a CD? I think I could have, but I chose not to. Like, You, can, you used to be able to get people to yank out the tape deck and put a CD player in, didn't they? Yeah. I think it was a bit dodgy there. I, can't, I think it was a bit just like the same bloke that, that did the sky boxes, you know, at the back. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah, the free friend channels, of a friend. yeah. Friend of a friend. Yeah, it was on my <laughs> But yeah, just I, maybe cars. it is then. So we're wrong. Maybe it is. There used to be some cars that would have like a multi-CD changer and they'd have a thing ah, yes. in the boot. 
with, so with all the CDs. Did you just have to yeah. pull over when you wanted to change the CD? Because the, yeah. the CD player was basically in the boot. It was like, do you remember it was great to have one of those ones at home that had that and you'd put about five CDs in it and then you could just go. I had one of them. <laughs> I had one of them. It's it turned and then. <laughs> I mean, and to you be honest, you pick it to. You can put your five CD. In the one I had, you could put five CDs in it, and then you could set it to shuffle. So between each song, you'd get like a thirty-second gap while it changed to a different CD and picked another song at random. Heady you do days. have to think though that now that I've kind of because because CDs CDs probably lasted the least amount of time out of all formats, right? Because it very MP3s and stuff came in very soon after. And I think back to like now, like vinyls and stuff. The CD was probably the worst format of all because it's one of those things like people are like saying like oh, CDs might come back. And I'm like, why would they come back? Because because with a tape, you get that kind of visceral thrill of rewinding it and shit. With a vinyl, it sounds better. That's the whole thing. It does actually sound better. And it's it's a, f- a thing that you get that's a nice it's thing a to collect. In your hand, what would yeah. you get? CDs don't sound any better than it does to listen to an MP3. And you d- can't rewind it or fast forward it like you can with a tape. And it's just this little disc that you have. So, what would be the thrill out of collecting CDs? Easy what, to damage. Would anyone get out of that? Yeah. yeah. Why would anyone if you go drop back the to case somewhere? It's going to break. It's I'd just... be very surprised if people start paying like thirty quid for for CDs like they do for vinyls now. Like <laughs> getting about like that would be yeah. ridiculous. It's, it's or, like CD did, shop where you go in and get CDs. Like <laughs> that's officially proof that the world has gone mental. Don't think it went unnoticed that I confessed a very serious thing about me and my stepdad when I was ten years old in the back of a car cavorting in leather that you didn't touch up upon. Poor friend. I just thought it best to move on from it, really. Yeah, that's what the fucking police said as well, mate. That's what the police said. Right, anyway, let's move on. But I don't want to talk about it much like you. I, I, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Is the, uh... oh, have you got anything else to say on CD players there before I do? Any more CD players? No, no, uh... all my uh, Peter K style oh, material <laughs> about uh, CD players. Do you remember them? Ooh, Is it possible that... Because he says, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Shut the fuck up, then. I didn't ask you to bring it up. I didn't, I didn't no one asked you. No, I hate when people put those things in lyrics like that, and it's like, well, well, you've brought it up in the lyrics, so why I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's such a silly, silly line. It's just a filler line. You had nothing to put there, did you? That's basically what it is. You're in the recording studio. It's something. And did that. This is like one of those songs where I feel like they did the music first, and then he just fit the lyrics like, which which is okay if you're a good songwriter, but like he sort of fit some lyrics around it and went, well, this what works here. Then he's like, the music goes. But I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, that'll do. That sounds all right, doesn't it? That works. Is it the equivalent of uh, Robbie Williams singing "That's a good line to take you to the bridge" before going to the bridge? Is it, is it the take equivalent to... of that sort of thing? <laughs> take them to the br- to the bridge. You bring in you bring in my old mate back into it. My old uh, yeah, well, I can't yeah. remember his name now. It's been that long. What's his name? Who was it? It was Justin. Me German Justin fella. Timberlake's mate. Yeah, but it, no, oh, yeah, it was a made-up yeah. German character that I invented. Uh, take them to the bridge. Ah, oh, maybe the listeners will remember. Take them to the bridge. Hans, Hans feels like one I would go for. Might not have been, but that feels like something I would instantly go for. It's just racist and stereotypical enough for me to pull it out of a heart, isn't it, Hans? <laughs> take them to the bridge. I don't think it was though. It might have been someone else, but yeah, oh, no, it is like that. Full inglorious bastards, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Although I did feel vilified by that because I was listening to, oh, what was I listening to? And and I was watching a film. Oh, what was it? Oh, it was the. Oh, so just for, to recap on that, because you know people might have gone, why are you comparing Nazi and the bridge and all that? I was watching um the new World War Two show on Apple. It's just the guy who played Elvis playing Elvis in World War Two, really. But there was a line in that where where one of the, the sort of villainous people in it they went. Take them to the bridge, and I went. Yes, people do fucking say it. <laughs> it is <laughs> a thing. Me. It is a thing. He's quite distraught been, by all yeah. these things, isn't he? He's quite. He's quite distraught by all these things, isn't he? I've always you been so annoyed by the lyrics are, and... that I've, I didn't even think that he's he's singing about his ex girlfriend's new fella. I didn't even. Well, if you think about it, hit me, I was the, li- the lines we've got. If it was a mate and it was a conversation, you'd be like, like he's got a brand new car. It's like he's fucking Jack you are as well. I can't believe it. It's like, oh, and it's got leather seats. Uh, you know, and guess what? Guess what? Mate, I'm, asking, I'm speaking to you. You're not listening. What's going on here? Don't you fucking listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a fucking tape deck and one of those stupid fucking things that you plug into an iPod that you plug in there. He's got a fucking CD player. <laughs> he's like, anyway, anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'll talk about it. 
and then he says, I, he says, I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to save it so that you try and fake it anymore. So apparently this song is about the end of a relationship and the jealousy of a new partner that she's with. So the guy with the Jaguar and the car and the, 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 the CD player is the new fella that he's the book Rogers. He's like this really cool, which I mean, as, as far as things to be jealous about, I mean, yeah, okay. But what I don't get is... Massive eight-inch cock would be the thing you'd be jealous about, really. Not well, this is what I'm going to say. The lameness of the things that you're jealous about, are these only like things that you could get jealous about in the song because it, because it was like PC? You had to be PC with the lyrics. Like, should it have been like... He's got a donkey car, 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 car. He makes her wetter, 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 wetter. He's got leather sheets. Yeah. Strap on dildo. Scans. Yeah, it's gonna strap on dildo, 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 dildo. But I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> like these are the things that you should really be jealous about with a new partner, rather than his all right car. You know what I mean? We've all, we've all got cars, mate. Get over it. <laughs> I mean, I jaguar, though. I'm still, one, 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 with a CD one, player, one. two thousand one. Would you not? No, no, I don't think I. If, if if I could have a pick of any car, I don't think a Jaguar would be what I go for. Okay, then if you can have a big money car, what car would you go for? Well, the Seems like a logical. <laughs> That's such a the rapiest car as well. I knew you'd go for <laughs> that. That's the rapiest of all. That's like a camper van is just a mattress in the back of a van shoved up a bit. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Do you know like when you yep. see them on? I know on, what I'm about, um, son. You know, when you see them on TikTok and it'll be like they'll they're like the chef took a McDonald's and turned it into a Michelin star meal. Those stupid fucking videos that mean nothing because oh, why yeah, the fuck yeah. would you want that? What what's the purpose of that? Why would that be a thing? But of course, of course, you can make a better meal than McDonald's. I don't go to McDonald's for Michelin star food. That's great. I go to it because it's McDonald's. I don't need you to shut it up. But you you just did that. The camper van is the Michelin style version of a rapey van with a mattress in the back, basically, isn't it? Like a camper van. It's just like oh yeah, I like traveling. It's got a kitchen in it, so it's not weird. But you've basically got a car with a bed in it. Yeah, but. But but it's got a kitchen and a little toilet as well. Like yeah, but I'm not hiding anything. I'm I know what I'm about. Don't worry. <laughs> I think if I, I like I, I quite I like want. American cars, man. I quite like a Mustang. I think same. The new Kings of Leon song is called Mustang. So I'm it is yeah, and it's shite. Maybe we'll cover it yeah. one day. I think we probably will be doing. <laughs> we're <not surprised. laughs> the future though, we've already done one Kings of Leon song. So but yeah, so I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna save it. So he's like, he's like but, but then obviously they're not because she's got a new fella. So I don't know what he's yabbering on about here. False yeah. hope, and, I think, really. And given what's she what faking the, in the, next the place, orgasms? Just the, quite possibly. Yeah, she's definitely not. Now. You try and fake She's like, I don't need to. No, I've got a fucking donkey dick yeah. Jaguar, man. It's yeah. all all right. Pegging him. Pegging him to the heart's content. Loving it. <laughs> Everyone's getting some here. Uh, but, if you don't want to be pegged, with the, then. With the next one, which is in the camper van. With the next, with the next verse, though, you can kind of see why she don't want to be with him anymore. I think, I think the imagery what, what, what? that he's chosen. <laughs> what, what? Talking about skin <laughs> is the creepiest. It's the creepiest part of the body to talk about. No one ever sounds not not creepy talking about skin. We'll start over again. And grow ourselves a new skin. Yeah, there's no, skin is the serial killer. Like you know, no. Dharma. You know, one minute speaking to a teenage girl. Next minute she goes missing. Next minute they find her skin on a lamp. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, a homemade lamp in his yeah. apartment. That is the general, uh, very specific of me, wasn't it? Almost like I was hinting at a crime that I'd committed. <laughs> but... <laughs> also, with you, the kind of... Here, here's a knock on the door halfway through the show. He will have to leave. It does work if... Uh... It'd be polite if they knocked, wouldn't it? If they knew I was a potential serial killer and they knocked yeah. rather than bash the door down give me time to destroy the evidence you, <laughs> i'll be out in a minute the door like all right <laughs> <laughs> what's that what's that noise of acid fizzing uh, i've just uh <laughs> although, although you end up like that a fizzy pop but... you end up like that one that i watched where the they went to break the pedophiles watched like door down and then um <laughs> it's a documentary it was fine watched it in commas watched <laughs> um, commas was there for and uh, told you before your police, life police... isn't a documentary come back to reality nick <laughs> police, police broke in and he was like in his bath ankle deep in water with three laptops 
and it was just really matter of fact. He was just like, <laughs> just giving me a, just having a bath. Give me laptops laptop and bath. <laughs> at half five in the morning. And uh, then. Why they, do you not, do you they, not back got, me laptops? <laughs> yeah, weirdos. And then they got him dry, <laughs> took him took him into his kitchen, sat him down, and they were like, right, if, if we were to look around your kitchen and your, your flat now, would we find any child pornography? He's like, no, no, you won't. And then the policeman goes to open a drawer. He's like, oh, don't, don't open that drawer. Don't, don't open that drawer. He's like, why not? He's like, there's a uh, child pornography in there. So for God's sake, the first drawer that they go. I can't believe they found my hiding place. <laughs> the drawer with all the takeaway menus. <laughs> Got to have a fake underdraw, mate. And I've told them once, I've told them a thousand times at the meetings. Fake underdraw. We'll grow ourselves new skin. Yeah, it is creepy, isn't it? And also, if also traditionally not in a human's repertoire array of skills, growing new skin. No, I think some no, lizards and stuff, but, but no famous snakes. And so we don't famously grow new skin. Oh, do we actually? No, we don't. We don't grow it, do we? It, it heals. But if I was to cut my face heals, off, for example, yeah. skin, it doesn't grow back. We'll be like, I'd go to sleep, I'd go for it. Uh, that was mad, wasn't Christmas it? Special. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd cut it off and look in the mirror and go, oh, that was that was a bit mad. Go to bed and wake up in the morning yeah. and go, oh, thank God that grew back. Oh, that would be uncomfortable as well, growing skin, wouldn't it? Like, oh, morphing it over, feeling it grow. I mean, if you think of skin growth, I get annoyed when my beard gets too long. So if my skin like was it. growing, skin grows after you're dead, though, doesn't it? I think. Skin grows while you're alive, doesn't it? That's why old people get saggy skin, isn't it? That's why your face is starting to sag a bit. Yeah, I think so. I think your skin continues to grow. Right. No, I think that, that that's the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> that's a multiple sclerosis. Strokey, saggy faced man in his fucking camper van near the part near the schools. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in the sort of sexual, in, that could that's that lyric could work in the non PC version that he wrote, couldn't it? Got herself new it? skin. Well, in a way, she has got herself new skin. Or skin. Yeah. <laughs> she started over again. She's got herself new foreskin. Imagine, imagine that that was how girls. Disc- it might be because girls are just as bad as us men deep down. Mate, what if girls oh, are yeah. like, oh, what, what you doing, Tina? What are you doing on Tinder? It's like, oh, just looking for some new foreskin. Imagine, oh, I bet it's not like that. Made a new foreskin, or do they call it like foresky? A new foresky. You mean right? names? Don't know any. Women are dirty. Yeah, well, everyone knows really what women want is a circumcised penis anyway, so cleaner and safer, isn't it? What you yeah, see in well, porn, well. isn't it? So there you go, replicate it. Yeah, that's what they want. What they Can't grow that back. back. Can't grow that back, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> For lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> so then, get a house in Devon. No, my mind was blown here. Oh, yeah, so did you... Well, so, well, first of all, before you say that, get a house in Devon. So this is this is him in his imagined world where they start over again, grow us, grow new mm. skin, which I assume he's trying to say like become different people. Change famously not how relationships, way, not how relationships work really. When you're in a, a bad relationship that's on its ass, you usually just go in. Should we start again? Get a house in a different city and and change our personalities yeah. and who we are completely, and then then everything will be all right. We'll have a kid as well. That'll solve all our problems. <laughs> <laughs> have two. <laughs> Sometimes it's just best to break up. Might hurt at first, but. That's my advice to people listening that are on the on the brink. Just pull the trigger. Jingle for that. Don't pull the trigger, like if you're on the brink. For Dan's little (laughs) agony hour. You you said you dropped a bomb song before that you. I don't understand how because all these lyrics sound clearly what they are in the song because they're so shit and he says them so clearly. No, get a house in Devon, drink cider from eleven. I thought that was the only honest line in the song. Does he do? But not drink cider from a lemon. Is it drink cider from and lemon, lemon, lemon? Is that yeah. how he does it in this song? Yeah. But why would you? But I mean, I don't. Can you get drink, cider from a lemon? Cider from a can or a glass? That would just well, be, no, it lime, would be lemon juice, wouldn't it? The, the you don't get booze of cider. From, uh... Is it? It has to be made of apple. Cider has and to. It, be, and it, it's like champagne. It can only be from the champagne region, region of France. Proper cider has to be made. How does it work? Does does apple make? I mean, you can get pear cider, but. Apple mate. Well, no, it's apple... not. It's not. It's not technically cider. It's not technically cider per cider. Right. Is cider? Does, does, does the way that they ferment the apples produce alcohol? Is that how cider works? Like grapes with wine. So le- lemon doesn't do that, does it? You can't ferment lemon to produce alcohol, can you? No. Or can you do that with all fruit? No. Is that something I don't know? If the relationship is already going downhill, 
and then they've had to become new people, grow new skin, like move to somewhere completely different, and then got to find some new pastimes. And it's just, oh, let's make our own alcohol. Well, no, Bomb that's going to put a further strain on the relationship. And lemon cider would be the worst kind of cider. I mean, it's yeah, not. Yeah, I, I like. Cider. I like lemon, like, like I like stuff like that because I like uh, mojito oh. and stuff, but but not a cider. I mean, I like cider, cider full stop, but but not a lemon cider. If I want if I want a cider, it's going to be like fruity and nice, not sour and yeah, horrible. Give me a can of dark fruits. That'll do me. A can of dark fruits or a Copperberg. But again, they're not they're not strictly cider. They're not strictly cider has to be apple. I didn't know there were so many politics in cider. I still don't know if there's many politics in cider. Is or this is just one of those Nick things that he's put up these rules on, yeah. which you quite regularly do for no reason. Like, so I can't really comment. <laughs> I'll, I'll, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. Yeah. I'll go with it because ultimately I don't care. So I'll go with it. I'm not a cider man. I'm not a cider and, man. Well, we're on. Well, we're on apple cider. I'll tell you what else annoys me about apple cider. If you go to America and they Come. have an apple cider. It's just apple. It's just like a fermented apple juice. It's not even alcoholic. And then they have hard cider that's alcoholic cider. It's like, what are they playing at? Mm. Can you get lemon cider? Are you researching it now? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm looking, but I'm. I'm worried that. So you thought it was from Eleven? I mean, that stuff. works. Get a house in Devon. Drink cider from Eleven. It works. You know, although so, that wouldn't be. That... Although when you think about it, right in your in your world in this song, he's saying to this woman. Let let's let's start again. Let's start over. Let's let's make this work, baby. Let's move to Devon. They move to Devon. The best thing that's going to make our relationship and the long term happiness of our life is if we start drinking cider from at eleven a.m. every day. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a healthy that's habit. Why... <laughs> I think that's what they it's... will do because they're clearly not supposed to be together and they're miserable. But well, it's certainly healthier than starting their own business. Selling, making, making, and selling lemon cider in Devon, a business. the county that is famous for apples. <laughs> well, it'd have to be. They'd no, they might just have a lemon it. tree, oh, and they're just fermenting a bit of cider lemon for the Friday evenings. No, no Sunday afternoons, no. A cider but, lemon but in the then, garden. Then again, the, Devon. then again, the song, the song says, "Drink cider from a lemon," which suggests they've only got one lemon, and they're making loads of cider from it. Well, that is true. From a lemon, yeah, they've just got one. Well, that there are Thatchers and Brothers both do lemon, cloudy lemon cider. But the crucial thing is that they also have apple in them, so it is still technically cider. If it's got apple, yeah, if it's got apple in it, it's still cider. But, so you'd rather, he said, it, drink cider from uh, apple and lemon. Drink. Well, I'd rather, get a honest, house I'd rather in the song didn't exist at all. <laughs> well, we all would. We all would. <laughs> but if we're going to wish something <laughs> away, get a house in Devon. Drink cider from an apple and a lemon, 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 lemon. What do you think in the in the non PC version was it? Get a house in Devon. Drink cider from a pussy, 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 pussy. Well, Devon and I mean, it probably would be Devon. Would it be get get a house? Get get a get a get a Shag in heaven, get a shag in heaven. Get get a shag in Devon. Get a shag. She got a shag in Devon. Drink cider from uh... funny. <laughs> <laughs> is that that work? <laughs> <laughs> Drink cider. Get a house in Devon. Drink cider from a fanny, fanny. Fa- Fanny's as close as it's going to get, I think, to Devon, rhyming with Devon, I think. Get it. She started over again. Got herself new foreskin. He got a blowjob in Devon. And she drank cum from his... Bellen, Bellen. It's Bellen, 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 Duh. Works. <laughs> Already an improvement. Already, Already an improvement, yeah. The piece the non PC version that you secretly wanted to write. Uh, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. Then don't talk about it anymore. We've been over this stuff going on about it then. Nobody's asked for this. It's very much the songwriting equivalent of those 
people who put like cryptic Facebook statuses on. It's like where they mm. check in at the hospital and they're like, oh, just too many snakes on, just me and the kids. And then everyone will comment saying, what's happened? <laughs> yeah. And like, Don't want to talk about it. It's like, you start <laughs> yeah. this. It's like, you do want to talk and about no, it. No, I want to know. Talk- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he'd be like. His mate, he'd be his mates, and he'd, he'd be like, like "See your mate, you know, um, Sally's. Me and Sally have uh, broken up. You know, broke up a couple of weeks ago. Did you, did oh, you sorry to hear that, man. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's just uh, I don't really want to. I, talk I about didn't know because uh, we've definitely not all been talking about you in a group chat at all. So I wasn't aware. Oh, good, good, good. We, good we've definitely good, not been good, making good, crude good. jokes about her getting done with a new cock and a foreskin or anything. But nothing of the sort's been mm. happening. It's good that I'm not in that group chat either. It's good that I wasn't invited to that. That's that's clever. That's good because you don't want to hurt my feelings. Good, good friends, good friends. But yeah, I don't want to talk about it really. But but uh, if you heard she's got a new, well, you have heard she's got a new fella because you've all been talking about it, obviously in, in the group. So, but that's okay. I, I get it. I get it. I've been the same. If it was one of you. I've been the same. So you know, I understand. I understand. Uh, but you know, did you hear he's got a brand new car? Look, what, what, looks what, like it's looks like it's it? a. Could you ask? Could you ask? Because I was going to say. I can't, I can't be sure. I don't know, but it it looks like a Jaguar to me. What's it? How, how close? The worst. If I could have picked, a, a, if a good look. Uh, I was just to cut through the long lens that I have into her apartment. Do, do, do you? I, know the I couldn't really see. There was you a, can actually go on tree, Google and search for the registration no, plate tree, and tell you what type of car it is. You can know tree, if you tree, get some closure you know, on the situation. You knew that, didn't you? You knew that. You knew about that. There's a tree. <laughs> about that quick. There was a tree. There was a tree in the way. I can only. See, I can see directly into a bedroom, but I can't. If I move the camera, there's a tree in the way of the road. So I, it looked like a jaguar through the leaves anyway. So well, I don't want to risk getting too tree. close. Quick question about this tree. Was it a... Uh, Do you want to know about the tree? Was it a lemon tree, by chance? A lemon tree? A lemon <laughs> tree there? A lemon tree on the go? No, no. I think, I think... No, no, no. Because I think... I, I remember it was, it was specifically a, a pear tree because... The, the locals love this big pear cider area around there, but I know that oh, area well, specifically it, yeah. don't like Did lemon you, cider, so they wouldn't have liked well, a lemon tree. They would have cut down. Pear cider isn't down. actually cider. If it's, uh, well, I think I think what they do is interesting they, story that I picked up at the pub quiz about this. Yeah. The other side of the apartment has an apple tree, so they get a, they get a pear there, and then they run around the other side to get an apple, go back to the apartment, get them in the bath fermenting. You've got cider. I think if you mix it with apple, I don't know. I'm not a cider fermenter but is that the is that uh which is a great band name is that a uh <laughs> is that a, is that a, is that right if they do it with the apple is it a cider then is that how it works yeah yeah I mean, so wait yeah, loosely i had an idea i had an idea for an internet business if i if i jizz into an apple and then ferment it What's can it? i sell them as my own personal Sexy apples to middle-aged, lonely men on the internet. Is that? I will. Is that, can I, can I officially call it pounds. side? I don't want Trinity Sanders to get involved. Can I? I want to give you a million pounds for five percent of your business. I'm going to call in. it the the, the Cum Valley Cider. The Cum Valley Cider Company is what I'm going to call it. Okay. And I think yeah. I want yeah, lonely middle-aged men that just they, they get the cider and they drink it, and basically it's my jizzy cider, fermented. And the jizzy cider. Like yeah. like in America where they have like Mike's hard lemonade. Dan, I'm Dan. I'm called I'm called Gavin, mate. Dan, no Gareth. I'm called Gareth, mate. <laughs> what was his name? Gareth. It's, it's Gareth here. Grant. Uh, Grant. 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 But yeah, but yeah, it was it was a jaguar. Through the trees, I could see it was a it was a jaguar. And uh, from what I couldn't see properly because of like I say the leaves, but I think I got a glimpse of a leather seat. Looked like it's got leather seats, which, as you know, is very impressive in two thousand and one. Mm. Invitation to a certain type of man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Does he listen yeah, to music? Paul Mondeo. Car, I would reckon. Well, this is the thing I didn't see properly, but I saw kind of see him in the race when I saw the seat, and then I saw a bit of his head, and then I saw some glint as he had a hand where the tape deck would normally be, and because there was a glint, a mirror reflection on the camera, I kind of had to go like away from the lens so i think that i got the hint of perhaps that being a a, a cd so it might have a cd player very good which, detective work that is, well yeah. you know you know with my game of stalking my ex-girlfriend it's you know you gotta be i, I don't know i can't confirm it but it looks like it's got, which is even more annoying because that's great as well because my fiat ponto just has a tape deck and we put in the little she used, to, she used to think it was cool at first with the ipod and you plug the tape in and it plays through the ipod but 
I think she she it's used to say it's a bit. Grand, she used iPod? to say it. She used to say it's it's cheap. Do you know? Oh, do you not have, oh, do you not have one? Guess you haven't got the old cum side of money coming in like me. <laughs> oh, now you've taken now, now you've taken five percent of the money. You know you'll get that rolling in. So, but but anyway, I don't I don't want to talk about it anymore. To be honest, mate, I don't really want to talk about. It. Just want to enjoy yeah, me neither. That, that's why we set up a WhatsApp that you're not in because we Great. we, we don't want to talk about it. Good, because I know about, about all this because. Dune, she, Dune, she, she actually Dune came to us before she left it. you to say keep an eye on Grant because he might lose it and start stalking me. But I'm just glad that's happened. Don't want to talk about it. Just... Don't want to talk about it. Do not want to talk about it. But if I if I was talking about it, I'd probably say that I think we're we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna I think I'm gonna save it. But you know, so, they do everything mm, to make mm. it, save it. Well, yeah. the the problem is the problem is, we, I kind of was getting along. I think she doesn't know about the stalking, obviously, to keep that you know quiet. But I, we were getting along a bit. We were getting a bit friendly again because I think she, you know, she's seen that I'd moved on, which I hadn't. But then I had a sort of, I had a bad moment, and uh, basically I kind of snapped and, um, and uh, she she came home and I'd I'd written on a bedroom mirror in my own cum and shit, saying, that "I hope you don't try and fake your orgasms with him anymore, like you did with me, you whore." You fucking pig slut, cunt. How, so I think how big uh, is this mirror? it's one of those full, you know, like when you have a wardrobe. Yeah, but uh, long mirrors. But but yeah, I kind of snapped, and she she was got a bit annoyed about that. So um, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she will do. Yeah. Really. But I, th- I am confident though that we'll um, that we'll start over again and um, probably probably grow ourselves new skin. I don't, no, I don't mean I don't mean that. I'm not going to cut off skin. I'm not going to cut off skin. Didn't think you were going to. Did it, didn't at any point think you were going to? Not until going you, to. If I was, I'd probably use a Stanley knife, but I'm not going to. I'm no interest, baby. No interest in cutting off her skin, putting it over my own skin, and having a wank and then killing myself. Not interested in that at all. Not interested not in that at all. Into my, my no, not my plans. all. Not in my plans. Not in my plans this year. Thank you very much. Got other things to do, better things to do than that. <laughs> Definitely not in the diary as it stands. If I had a PA, she'd tell you that's not in the calendar. So no, too, too much cum cider to sell. Thank you very much. Any of this business? But yeah, if I think I think we will be okay because I think we'll um we'll get a house in in Devon. I think that's probably where I see like you know have you ever imagined a place that will go and everything in your life will be okay. We'll get a house in uh, in heaven when we're both dead. Not heaven, Devon. We'll get a house in Devon. Drink cider from a, a nice little lemon tree that we had out in the garden. You've not been the... listening to and... what I told you about the cider, Grant. Just... Well, I could because we'd have an apple tree as well, so I'd use the apple as well. Um, although she doesn't, she isn't a fan, as I said before, of lemon cider. But at that point, um, I'll have manipulated her into only liking the things that I wanted to do. So out of fear, yeah, so yeah, it'll be okay. She drink from it, yeah. Operation Gaslight it really yeah. does in fear, Grant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, lemon and cider in a drink. She'll be drinking that daily. Do you not think that, that she'll daily. feel neglected again when you're out fucking around with the apples and the lemons? Do you not think that'll disillusion her further? Don't really care. I mean, I, I, I don't know really. To be honest, I think she's probably busy. Like she'll be taking the orders from the the internet business. Probably, I'll probably have her doing that. Give her a bit of work. Keep her occupied. Uh, but 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 I don't, I don't look, look, mate. I really I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm, I mean, on the cum side of empire, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not not financially, obviously, because you know she will we'll be together. So she, oh, what's mine is hers, technically. I mean, I control it all, but what's mine is hers, technically. Give her an allowance. Just, just only at my yes, at my groceries. At, yes, at my bequest. What's mine is hers. We're in that kind of relationship. It's fine. So yeah, but but yeah. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm, I'm just happy to finish my drink. Go I don't understand why she's left you, Grant. To be honest, <laughs> fucking women, innit? <laughs> <laughs> If you've enjoyed the show, then please like, rate, review and follow to help push us up the charts. Get in touch with us at any of the links in the episode description or email liquorandlyrics at gmail.com. I just can't get excited about people getting excited going, it's got a CD player, play. I'm like, what are you singing at? What are you singing that for? It was ridiculous. They could have put anything there. The music is all right, actually. If you were to put some decent lyrics in there, you could have a good song. Like, you could, if you could have had a song about breaking up that actually meant something, like, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, but no, you chose not to. You chose to write some of the worst lyrics for, unless they're all metaphorical and we don't know, like, CD players are metaphor for the the way that you eject my heart. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> so you really I tried, trying to, I tried to say I tried to save him, but no. Yeah, so there you go. And drink cider from a lemon because like she's quite bitter. I think I didn't even like this song when we were like when I was like eighteen, going to clubs and it came on. Even then it was too much for me. Even now I was like, Having said that, I bet we I bet we've both been guilty just to try and pull a girl of on the dance floor drunkenly going like it's got a C D because all of my beliefs and morals go out of the window for Yeah, yeah. It's not even girl, the worst song I've done that especially too, then. To for the girl. Oh yeah, any song I could detest the band. I could be the it could be the worst band ever. And I'd still to be honest with you, when I was eighteen, a, a girl could have gone, um, yeah. So uh, I've actually just been in prison for um, touching up kids, and I would have gone, oh well, okay, well you know, everyone everyone makes mistakes, don't they? Yeah, me too. Well, should we go back to Should we go back to yours? <laughs> so yeah, not a good person. <sighs> if anyone was wondering, <laughs> out there. I don't I don't think they were, but. No, if were, they can either. wonder no more. <laughs> Shall we spin the wheel of mayhem and see what's coming up next week? Yeah, let's do it. Well, Nick, next week we're doing a, a genuine classic, a genuine classic song, uh, Man's World by James Brown. Let's give it its full this title. A... It's a man's, man's, man's world. Is that the actual title? Is it not just Man's World? The full title is It's a Man's, didn't Man's, bother... Man's World. Yeah. Oh, didn't bother so looking it up. Re- reinforce it, which... Uh... So it's a well... shame. <laughs> I'm surprised that song's not had a resurgence in, by uh, sort of um, incels. <laughs> although actually the I, line I after that would put that actually the, the line after that would put the incels off wouldn't it because it's a man's world but it'd be nothing about a woman <laughs> like, they don't like that do they they don't follow they don't prescribe to yeah. that idea ideology so. in, incels are listening going oh i love i love the oh yeah. wait no oh, too, much like, for me. Oh, too much for well, me yeah why do you have to put a butt in there uh, uh, it's a feminist song but yeah a man it's it's a man's man's man third man was a man's world it's three men no, three men in total Yes, we'll be back next week with that, which will be, which this was episode 18. That'll be episode 19 as, as these things tend to go. I don't know any numbers past 19, so you're going to have to help me out with the episode numbers after next week. Okay. I only know 19. I'll, uh, I'll try and teach you. I'll try and teach you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Get fingers and toes out. Fingers and toes. Right. Yeah, you got one toe Say left. goodbye. Was... Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, bye, 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 b